This key nutrient was proven in a breakthrough study to slow down chronic kidney disease by 44% and to delay dialysis by 10 years or more. Catherine here, if you have kidney disease, today's video can literally change your life. We are going to see an incredible scientific development in the treatment of kidney disease. Dialysis, according to science, can be delayed by 10 years or more just by taking 0.8 milligrams per day of one key nutrient. This key nutrient, a vitamin actually, is present in significant amounts in foods such as okra, but also spinach, asparagus, lettuce, and sweet corn. But most people cannot get enough of this vitamin just from foods. In fact, according to this large study, supplementing this vitamin was proven to be way more effective at slowing down kidney disease than any known medication. Even for Exiga, the incredibly expensive yet effective medication that was recently approved by the FDA isn't able to give results this convincing. So, if you want to preserve your kidney function and to delay dialysis, here's what you need to know. Kidney disease patients who took 0.8 mg per day of this vitamin had a significantly slower progression of kidney disease. And guys, as we can see here, we are talking about a 44% slower decline in kidney function. And this is a very big study we're talking about. It was conducted on more than 15,000 test subjects over the course of more than four years, which is proof enough to get more of this really safe yet powerful nutrient. I mean, just taking this vitamin could delay dialysis by several years. And guys, I know that this may seem incredible, but what they use in this study is just some regular vitamin. And I'll show you exactly how to take it, the dose, and the foods you can get this vitamin from in the next part of the video. Don't worry, it's going to be extremely easy. But watch the whole video because what they found out can really help every single kidney disease patient. Oh yes! Before that, there is another recent development in the treatment of kidney disease you really should know about. In particular, some researchers consider what I'm going to show you now the key to reverse kidney disease. And guys, this is big. Researchers believe this could potentially completely cure chronic kidney disease, at least in some patients. Let's get a bit more in depth. In this recent study, researchers concluded that in patients with hypothyroidism, renal function improved after normal thyroid function was reached. In some patients, above normal creatinine levels completely returned to normal once the patients achieved normal thyroid function. Yes, they actually cured CKD just by giving patients levothyroxine, a common thyroid medication. Now, a very important question. How do I know if I have a thyroid problem? Well, if you have CKD, your thyroid is very likely not working like that of someone with healthy kidneys. And this can make kidney disease progress faster according to studies. And I don't need to see your medical records to say that you should get checked for thyroid function if you have CKD. Yes, not many people know this, but the main reason why keeping minerals in balance in the body is crucial for kidney health is your thyroid. Researchers have been studying the correlation between kidney and thyroid function for years without finding a clue. It was known that when kidney function declines, phosphorus starts to go up just to be compensated by an increased production in parathyroid hormone. The body will release more thyroid stimulating hormone to do what the kidneys cannot do. Get rid of excess phosphorus. What this new research is actually pointing out is a missing link, which is the strong correlation between thyroid function and kidney function. Here's why this is really important for us. According to this study, kidney function can be improved by normalizing thyroid function. 
Hypothyroidism is not difficult to treat once correctly diagnosed. There is a medication called levothyroxine, which is a synthetic thyroid hormone that works immediately. If you get diagnosed with hypothyroidism, very common in CKD, and you start the treatment, your kidney function is going to go up in a matter of days. You're likely to start to feel better soon after you start the treatment. The medication gradually lowers cholesterol levels elevated by the disease and may reverse any weight gain caused by hypothyroidism. In short, keep your thyroid function under control. Get your thyroid function checked if you have kidney problems even in absence of symptoms. Not all doctors know this. Both hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism have been linked to a faster decline in kidney function. So take action as soon as you can. Schedule a TSH test, a test for thyroid function at your next doctor appointment. For some patients, normalizing thyroid function with the appropriate treatment is all that it takes to improve kidney function fast. Okay guys, back to the vitamin that slows down CKD by 44%. In this study, patients taking just one vitamin with their standard medications had, on average, a 0.96% decline in kidney function per year. Those not taking it had a 1.72% decline in kidney function per year. It's a huge difference and could mean for someone in stage 4 delaying dialysis by a decade or more. Time to see exactly what they used in this study. Patients took 0.8 mg folic acid or vitamin B9 in a single daily tablet also containing 10 mg enolipril. Those in the control group took enolipril alone and had a faster decline in kidney function. This means that folic acid made all the difference. You see, enolipril is a common ACE inhibitor. ACE inhibitors are the most prescribed blood pressure medication for CKD patients. So clearly, our focus here should be folic acid. There are several ways to get more of this vitamin in your diet. First of all, focus on leafy greens. This is always great advice for good health. Foods such as spinach, lettuce are great sources of this nutrient. Asparagus, seeds, nuts and bell peppers and sweet corn should also be considered. These are all foods perfectly suitable for a renal diet. Another great source of folate, the natural form of folic acid is okra. Okra is a nutritious food with many health benefits. It's rich in magnesium, fiber, antioxidants, and vitamin C. Okra is especially useful for those with diabetes since it contains an active compound that was linked to lower blood sugar levels. Not to mention that this superfood is also linked to heart health benefits, also thanks to its folate content. Now, in the study I was mentioning, Patients took 0.8 mg folic acid per day from supplements, which is two times the RDA for the general population. And while it's always better to consult the doctor before taking any supplement, this dose is considered safe. But there is one thing you should absolutely know about folic acid before starting to supplement it. Now, what not everyone knows about vitamin B9 is that it should always be paired with another vitamin of the B group. And guys, this vitamin is crucial not just for your kidneys, but for your heart too. Cardiovascular events such as strokes or cardiac arrests are extremely frequent in people with kidney problems, and researchers are starting to think that the deficiency in this vitamin can be causing them. Unfortunately, supplementing folic acid can sometimes hide the deficiency of this exact vitamin. And I've explained exactly which vitamin you need to take and how in my video up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.